Hey folks, it's Beano Black, and look at the big sea flare that uh, is not going to hit Earth. Uh, stereo A will get this action coming right at it, so we're going to need some good shots from Stereo A in the future, so take a look at that. And let's see what we got going on for, more than likely it was this one here. It could have been any of these, but I'm pretty sure more than likely it's this one here. It's the largest spike. So... Uh, let's go look at some government waste and mess ups here. Bring this into your focus because basically, if you see this here, I'll blow this up a little bit. Well, basically, you should be able to read this here. The purpose of this amendment is, is to remove the DHS, that's the Department of Homeland Security, from over the FEMA embroidered logo. And basically, what this comes down to is control because the idea they don't want people running around with. And then, what this is, is there was a bid put in. And then I think that they, it ended up be, getting canceled, but uh, whether they appropriated some hats from somewhere else. But let me, let me go ahead and show you what they basically, they hired a bunch of females or uh, they just have a ratio that's way more females than men that they were going to run around with just a FEMA and not a DHS because the Department of Homeland Security maybe has an equal amount of male, female, who knows, okay? Uh, so anyway... When I start using my brain on things, it's, uh, I have a pretty, very big analysis mind. So the idea that we go ahead and look at this form here, and it's part of the solicitation. And I, can, I don't even know if I've ever seen anything on this one here. Required to sign a document and so forth and so on. And it's the same signature on the other one. Uh, I don't know if I got rid of the okay, purposes. Yeah, so they screwed up. And they made the seal, so basically it would make you, you know, like a police officer, because it has a DHS seal on it. So that's why they didn't want, uh, let's blow this up all the way. They didn't want you to be able to put a hat on and be a police officer, because DHS is, so they made the, the let me, I can open up, I think, this symbol too and show you. Uh, but that's the statement. They wanted to make sure that they, because they screwed up when they ordered the hats. They wanted... And let me go give you the statistics that I was looking at, because this is the order form, but I took it off. It comes out in Microsoft Word, but I just blew this up. So you don't see the idea that they have a quotation over here on the right when you have Microsoft Windows, but I just pulled it off. i got a friend that's in their apparel business, and the idea that, that they didn't put it in because their bid in because FEMA screwed up on the idea of they had that complaint at the end that they, oh, don't, we can't have the logo, so they ended up with just having the FEMA. So then I knew about this. And this is all the official stuff. You put bids in. Uh, and look at all this. Basically, this is like this. It's, it's 259 small, uh, 375 medium, uh, 750 large, uh, 375 uh, one size fits all. Or it was double extra large. I can't remember. Let me. I'll go take a look for sure and so I can make an estate, official statement. But the idea that they ordered 1,000 baseball hats and 2,000 wool hats. Okay. That's unisexual there, okay? But at least that they have a thousand, uh, 1,125, 525, 600 and six, 1,600 and some female employees, okay? For FEMA, okay? FEMA employees, just FEMA, okay? Just basically federal emergency, uh, Military action is pretty much what I take it to stand for. I don't know what the M and the A stands for. I don't really care. I know I've heard of FEMA before, and anyway, that's pretty much what it comes down to the Nats' ass. Federal Emergency Management Association, possibly too. I don't really give a rat's ass. But anyway, they sure got a lot of females working for the deal. And then we got 3,000 unisexual, unisexual hats, wool hats, and it's basically wool and acrylic. And anyway, that's a bit. So anyway, some political stuff here. And then you know how many heads you got running around that are basically FEMA. Because they got mad at the idea. They screwed up and put the logo together. And then I think this got canceled overall, too. So I don't know what what they really did on this whole bid and stuff like that. But you get a head count of how many employees they got by seeing what they ordered. And also the size. Uh, you know, I'm not into heavier built women, so I like the 258. So whatever, the, the ones in the smaller, but I wouldn't discriminate, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, but uh, these ones are probably cute, these ones are probably hella nice people right here, I bet, and these ones here too, so anyway.
for the longest. Let's go see if it was what it was. It was because I remember it was medium they ordered 259, and then 375 medium and 750 large, and then it was 375. I can't remember extra large, two extra large, or one. I think it was one. Actually, I don't even have to look. It was one size fits all, and it basically encompasses. It would fit anybody, so they stretch, I guess. So, gals, if you're working for FEMA and your head's getting cold, it's because they messed up this. And basically, they refer to attachment one, and I'll go show you what that was the, the logo that they messed up. So, if your head's getting cold, and then the gals that work for Department of Homeland Security, well, you can strut your stuff real nice and hot and sexy because you're an officer of the law, aren't you? Department of Homeland Security. But see, there's a big difference. So, they had to make sure that nobody could get a false badge by having a logo with DHS on it. And here's the solicitation number, and it got canceled. So that's why your heads are getting cold, ladies, because someone screwed up on the logo. This is the hat you would have got, or you will get, but you'll get it late. You're maybe in the summertime when you're hot, and you don't need that. You're hot all the time anyway, but you'll need a hat in the wintertime now, and you're cold, and you're freezing because you don't have a hat because they canceled it because they screwed up. And there's the hat you would have got, or you should have got, or maybe you got it now. Maybe someone kicked in and got the crap together, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, because basically this is supposed to be unisex, 3,000 of them, or 2,000 wool hats, okay, but this is what they did wrong with the embroidery, I'll give you the logo that they messed up on, check this out, so this is the uh, logo they messed up on, and as you see, it's got Department of Homeland Security and FEMA together, which they are, one agency, because they're underneath Homeland Security, but uh, they don't want you to be a cop, this is a cop. This is military, this is U.S. Department of Homeland Security, it's basically an official, they can arrest you, okay? Anybody can make it a citizen's arrest, too, we understand that, okay? You have to know how to do that. But, uh, so if you see anybody with this, it's a, basically they should have been burnt or destroyed or not even made. So, this is the ones that could tell you to, you know, get out of your house or something like that, but then at the same time you could sit there and say, hey, I got my constitutional rights, you got a warrant? I'm sitting right here. So, you got your constitutional rights all the time, so, but these are the ones that have a little bit of authority. A little bit of authority, okay? I guess I'm trying to say is state authority comes first. The state can always kick the government out, whatever state you're in. And I know that you know what state I'm in and what it says, but what it says and what the Constitution is two different things. You can always say get the hell out. Here's our big cross face that caused our... Uh, C-class flare that was quite large and thank gosh it was not coming towards Earth. Uh, Soho satellites have to do their positioning so it'll be pretty interesting. We'll get some good shots from the 26th, yep, or the 25th and I, I need to go back and look at my statue stuff. But anyway, so moving to the left of our cross phase there to the right that you can see there and she looks like she's going to cross phase low again here too so we're going to probably get another C or maybe an M. So uh, go along and the data over here and then you'll see our flare okay uh, I'll go give your solar wind feet just throw a bunch of data in here just for the hell of it so let's take a look at some quakes I guess I mean, we shouldn't get anything more until we get these bigger objects coming by so I'll go to space weather so a lot of active regions here and basically I guess I popped on that and it popped up so you can see it good enough here and we'll scroll right there's magnetic gram and there's the spots again and the sun is highly active right now. So we are in solar maximus, no matter what the crap they try to pump up your ass. So that are new, any new viewers, and you can see the signature, and people take a look at what we got going on as you see our Van Allen belts here, and we got a very interesting one here. But the interesting on that is, uh, it could be a magnetical from something else, and I'll just say the word her. So we're getting a little bit of an effect of her coming around, okay? And basically she would have been her is on her way over way over here somewhere okay but it will affect uh, Jupiter come around the end of July of next year 2013 through August 5th of 2013 okay so we're getting an interesting little different magnetical signature right there okay so the theories are still out there but the actual factual is right there that that's a magnetical either a, that or a Van Allen belt no matter what there's another magnetical out there because the Van Allen belt is getting you can see that Van Allen belt right there. It's getting pulled away from all the other Van Allen belts that are up and down. Okay? So we're getting some interesting action, so it'll be interesting to see the earthquake action we're getting. So let me go back and show you something real fast on Solar Artist here. Uh, 
basically to note that you got behind and you got ahead. So basically we are very active towards Earth right now, okay? Basically right there. They're always trying to get information so that when I get close to the bottom, they always try to pull up the, the data that I'm looking at and so forth and so on. I have ways of making sure that I keep my cards hid well. So anyway, here you go. A lot of action towards us, Earth, and then a lot of uh, action even on the backside. But we are very heavy on towards Earth, so we got to keep an eye on all this. Basically, a lot of it all comes down to communication, satellites and radio waves and so forth. Communications. People that are not in the know that much, all this action right there into your uh, communications areas, satellites and everything, it's a big deal. Okay, So uh, all of every branch of the military will be working with all of our satellites out this way. And you can see that Stereo A is out that way. So anyway, even it's just a sea flare. So. And everybody is making a big deal out of the, vi and it is, it's 2,700 and some odd years, uh, 2,373 years, I think, something like that, that the conjunction of, I believe it's uh, Venus, Saturn, and Mercury, I think. So I don't even, I can't remember if it happened yet or not, I don't really, it's, it would be a magnetical, so, so anyway. Uh, very rare, so we have to check that out. I didn't know if that's actually happened. I think maybe it happened in June or July or something. I'm not sure. We'll take a look at that. Not in this video, but there is an alignment of Mercury, Venus, and Saturn. And I don't know if we've had it yet or not. So anyway, now they're trying to make a satellite look large or the space station look larger than what it is. What is this damn? Yeah, that's just it passing in front way down here on Earth. Uh, don't believe that it's that large. It's not, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that large. It's no larger than uh, about six or seven houses long or something like that, I don't think. So, and maybe square. So don't don't think that the, any, all those objects up there by the sun are that small. They're trying to brainwash you through other agencies, okay? Basically a private agency, spaceweather.com. Yes, they make money off selling stuff and advertising and stuff like that. They get all their information contracted from the government for free just like every taxpayer like me and you in here looking at this stuff. So 3.4, when we get these bigger objects, we'll have a little bit more action. So on 28th, we're gonna be picking up because we're picking up in size. We've already got a bigger one today. Let's go see what we got for earthquake action. But when we get into these bigger ones here, we're gonna get more action. Magneticals. Here's the latest earthquake data. I don't think we have a big quake. Was some 5.9 and over and somewhere yesterday. So there was 5.9. We usually get a 5.9 or something every day. So there's some stuff in Greece. So Greece is shaking. That's a lot of shaking in Greece. And let's see what we got here. And we got the 26th. We'll have some more. So we got three pages, so we got a lot of quake action. And we'll pick up a lot more when we get into those bigger objects. So, and I might have even missed a big quake going through there. We'll look at it more later. Just giving you guys the data. There's a 5.6 the Eastern Rise in the Pacific. That was been making a lot of the headlines last night. People were talking about that early. Anyway, there we go, through the 26th, okay? As you see now, we're absorbing more after the CME has went by than when it's directly here. So we have a very interesting protection that the Earth does naturally, okay? As now as it's the voltage and the megahertz of everything has seeped down quite a bit, we're getting more from the CME, the major CME we got. As you see the absorption here, okay, it's a color code. Here's your mob here, and then here's how much is coming in at us. Over here. Okay, the megahertz. Here's a local prominence there that someone caught. Not only the government watches the sun, thanks Scott Gower there, for that there shot there. And, and here's your message from Boulder, Colorado. I want to thank Matt Melnick for some pictures I'm going to show you from Edmonton, Alberta area, and that's your message on the magnetometer when it came by on Friday.
Matt, I hope I'm saying your, your last name right. Mel Thanks to Matt Melnick for this shot. Great auroral shot. Awesome.